You talked about broken Britain and fixing it. You haven't. It's more broken now than it was. Well, I, I don't accept that. So this is an important Do you live on a zero-hours contract? No. I, what, what, for many, some people choose a zero-hours contract, for instance, students, because they want the flexibility. There but what we did is... Well, hold on a second. We're at halfway. We've had 40 minutes of Cameron. He looks very uncomfortable at times during the Paxman interview. Paxman was back to his brilliant, superb best, starting with a couple of questions which are slightly off theme on food banks and zero-hours contracts really did seem to have him on the ropes but at no time nonetheless in that section did Cameron make any big gaffes anything that is going to sort of dominate the next few days or, or, or the rest of the campaign. If you could redo one thing from your time as Prime Minister what would it be? Well there's definitely the, the thing as I said I, I, I haven't delivered I promised a better uh, less noise at Prime Minister's questions, more politeness. That certainly didn't work out. I, I fully accept that. When it came to the audience, it was a lot easier for him, a lot more comfortable. And, of course, he's used to doing these kind of audience events sort of almost every week these days. And uh, that was... He, he, he had a bit of a comeback from what was a really tough grilling, I thought, by Jeremy Paxman early on. If you are Prime Minister after May the 7th, uh, what will the budget deficit be in pounds at the end of five years and how will you achieve it? We want to balance the books by the end of the Parliament and we want to cut the deficit every year. Ed Miliband's just faced his questions from the audience. I thought they were a lot tougher than those put to David Cameron, asking him about things like uh, regulation of the banks under Labour, why Labour was not committed to a referendum on Europe. But on the whole, I think Miliband answered them pretty well. Uh, in particular, I, I thought his answer on Cameron's qualities about how Cameron was committed to equal marriage and uh, overseas aid, I thought that was... It was impressive hearing him, him praise Cameron. Well, supposing we got to a figure of 70 million in 10 or 15 years, population in this country, is that acceptable? I'm, I'm not going to get into your hypotheticals. Let, let me say... I th Did you borrow I, too much? I, I think that the global financial crisis... I think the global financial crisis is what drove borrowing up. Did and that, you borrow yeah, well, the too figure, much? Yeah, well, the figure was... The point is, people think you're just not tough enough. Well, uh, let, let me tell you. Early on, Miliband, I thought, run to trouble when it came to spending questions, uh, citing the Dome as an example of bad Labour spending, perhaps a, a vote to laugh or two. He couldn't come up with many areas which Labour would cut. But then when it got on to the more human things, was he tough enough? Am I tough enough? Hell yes, I am, said Miliband. It'd be fascinating to see in a few minutes' time, what the polls make of that, of those who were watching the debate tonight.